Hello, Maris. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Maris? I'm fine. You're fine? Yes. And your day, how was it? Very good. It was very good. What did you do? Tell me about your, your day. What did you do? Um, um, no. No more. Today, no more pressure. Pressure. <laughs> no more pressure, really? Yeah. yeah. Finally, right? Finally, yeah, okay. Maris. Oh, my God, Maris. So, um... Okay, so it was a relaxing day. Fue relajado, yeah. Maris. Exactly. Okay, all right. And tomorrow you are going to rest? Yes, I rest tomorrow. Do you have any plans to go out now? For a moment, no. No, I just my at house. home. Yeah. Okay, rest, right? at home. Okay, very good. Well, uh, good evening, Carlos Alberto. And I think that Pablo is uh, connecting. Okay, so Pablo, good evening. So uh, we are going to start with today's class. And well, today we have different things that we are going to cover. Okay, we are going to cover um, things from the book. And we are going to cover the first conditional. Okay, so we are going to talk about different things. So um, the warm up is the first thing we are going to have. Uh, then we are going to have the grammar part, which is unit four. And we are going to talk about training and first conditional. We also have a speaking time. We have grammar quiz. We have listening quiz and we have a reading quiz. So we have many quizzes today for you to practice different areas um, on the English language. Okay. So the first thing that we are going to start with is the odd one out, which is the warm up. Okay, this is the warm up. What is the meaning of odd one out? What is the meaning of odd one out? Odd one out, guys, means el diferente, el distinto. Odd one out means el diferente, el distinto al resto. Okay, so for example, um, okay, Pablo. so for example, we have dog, cat, donkey, and dragon. Yes, we have dog, cat, donkey, and dragon, which is the odd one out. What do you think is the odd one out? Well, the Odd one out is dragon. Why? Why is the odd one out? Because it is a mythical creature and all the others are real creatures. Yes, and that is true. We have dog, real. Cat, real. Donkey, real. Dragon, not real. Mythical. Yes. So now we have a couple of examples here. Okay. Ahora quiero que usted me diga which one is the odd one out from this line. Which one is the odd one out from Thailand, Singapore, Tokyo, England, and Vietnam? ¿Cuál es el distinto? Okay. Tokyo. Okay. Why? Because it's this city. Because it's a city. It's city. It the other one. Okay. Country. And the other ones are countries. Very good. Okay. Alguien tiene una opinión distinta? Uh -huh. uh, England, maybe. <laughs> England. Because uh, England is part of Europe and the other one are from A Asia, Asia. Asia. Perfect. And that is correct. England as well, okay? Because England is part of Europe and the other ones are from Asia. 
Very good. Then we also have car, airplane, truck, bus, and train. Which one is the odd one out? Hmm? Which one do you think is the odd one out? From car, airplane, truck, bus, and train. Aeroplane, because it's the only one. It's fly, flies. It flies. Okay. Excellent. Exactly. Okay. Very good. What about from a strawberry, an apple, a tomato, and a banana? Which one is the odd one out? Hmm. Yes. No. Tomato. A tomato. Why a tomato? Because it's a vegetable. Okay, and because it is a fruit. Very good. Okay, that is one um option. Okay, very good. Yes. Does somebody else have a different opinion? Apple? Yeah. Why? Its name is the only one that begins with a um, vowel. Okay, excellent. Okay, excellent. Yes, Bernardo. So Apple, because this one is the one that, this the only one, actually, the only one that starts with a vowel. Look at the other ones. S, T, B. Consonants. Very good. Does somebody else have another opinion? Mm -hmm. We can mention one more. No? Well, the other opinion is this one. The odd one out is banana. Why banana? Because banana is the only one that is yellow. Okay. An apple can be red. A tomato is red. And the strawberry is red. Uh -huh. Yes. Now, another one could be, probably, right? The strawberry. Why the strawberry? Because, well, that's what I think, right? So, because the apple, the tomato, and the banana, they all have the seed inside. And the strawberry? No. Okay. So let's move. And what about number four? Overseas, worldwide, domestic, and global. Which one is the odd one out? Overseas, worldwide, domestic, and global. Huh? No? What is overseas? First of all, what is overseas? Overseas means fuera del país en el extranjero. Overseas, fuera del país o en el extranjero. Okay? So what is the meaning of worldwide? Worldwide. It means um, internacional. Okay, international, or it can also mean um, mundial. International or mundial. Worldwide. Domestic. Domestic is something local. O sea, algo local. Yeah, domestic. Yes. And now, 
What about a uh, global? Global, okay. So which one is the odd one out on this? Domestic, okay. Because domestic is the only one that is local. De ahí los demás hablan de cosas exterior, right? En el exterior. Now, what about number five? Okay, so we have intermittently, constantly, unceasingly, continually. Which one is the other one out? Intermittently, constantly, unceasingly, and continually. Which one is the old one out? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Intermittently. Intermittently? Okay, and no, why? No. No, it's constante. Oh, okay. It is not... Continuidad. No, uh, con continuidad. Or... No, it is, it is not probably... Uh, it is not permanent. Okay? Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. The other... Uh-huh. Permanent. Correct. Very good. Yes. So intermittently is the only one that is not permanent. And if we say constantly, unceasingly, continually, they never stop, right? So they go and go and go on. So very good. Excellent. Okay. The odd one out. Okay, guys, let's move and let's start with the book. Okay. So let's start talking about the book. So we have personal training. Okay. Uh, we have a short conversation right here. Um, Maurice, please be Alex, and Emerson, please be Rick. Okay. In this, in this question, I heard a month ago one to know how to, to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunity. Yes. Uh, very good. See you. I wanted to schedule a server's training for next month and one for catchers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complained about the hail to wait for too long. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think the server needs a good training. Let's identify their car, kill, um, no blessing, so we can include in everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the server after the training. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. Okay. So let's focus on pronunciation. Okay. So Alex says the dishwasher I hired hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted promoted how to get promoted como ser ascendido right como obtener un ascenso he asked me about training opportunities ah uh, very good you see i want to schedule schedule a server training for next month and one for cashiers, cashiers, yeah. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complained, complained about having, having to wait for too long, yeah. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills, their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to 
evaluate, evaluate, evaluate the servers after the train. Okay. So one of these days we were talking about how can we identify the areas of opportunities that require personal training. Yeah, you mentioned different things, right? Sometimes we can evaluate if um, employees need training based on surveys, assessments, coaching. Yeah. So now, based on this short reading, let me ask you guys who is asking for a promotion? Who is the person that is asking for a promotion? Who? Dishwasher. The dishwasher. Perfect. And what did the customers complain about? Have a way for two. Correct. Some long. customers uh -huh, complain about having to wait for too long. Perfect. And number three, what is staff will receive training? What is the staff that, that uh, will receive training? The servers. The servers. Yeah. And what is steps will Alex and Rick take for the training? Mm -hmm. They are going to identify their skills and knowledge. Okay, that is the step. Okay, so they are going to identify their skills and knowledge so they can include everything they need in the training. Yes. Okay. And they are going to evaluate the servers after the training. Yeah. Now let's move and let's talk about this. How do you organize training for your staff? Let's number the steps in the correct order. Okay, so which is number one? What is the first thing that you that you do to identify um, that or to organize the training for your staff? What is the first step? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué es lo primero que hacemos para organizar un training? Yep. Identify personal Okay, identify personal current skills and knowledge. Okay, then. Desire mm -hmm. skills and knowledge gaps. Okay, desire skills and knowledge gaps. Okay, then. Analyze the job. Analyze the job. Mm, okay. De ahí. Evaluate performance after training. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. I mean, it is not incorrect, but we need to follow an order. Tenemos que seguir un orden. Sí. Entonces, lo primero que hacemos para organizar El training para el staff, en teoría, debería de ser analyze the job. Analizar el trabajo, analizar el puesto de trabajo. Porque si usted no sabe de qué trata el puesto de trabajo, no puede organizar un training. Que okay, sería con un propósito no válido. Probablemente porque tiene que identificar, luego de analizar el trabajo, analyze the job, what you should do is that you are going to identify personal current skills and knowledge. Aquí sí, 
you identify personal current skills and knowledge. Okay. After this, cuando usted ha identificado las habilidades que tiene y el conocimiento, ¿qué hace? Uh -huh. Implement training. You implement the training, ok. You implement the training. Ok, cuando ya implementa el training, ¿qué es lo que sigue? Performance. You evaluate performance after the training. Eso es correcto. Usted ya dio el training, ya lo recibió y ahora usted evalúa. ¿Sí? You evaluate performance after training. Pero aquí nos saltamos un paso. Porque luego de identify personal, current skills and knowledge, cuando usted identifica las habilidades y el conocimiento, tiene que identificar qué soluciones puede dar con el training que va a impartir a todas las skills que le hace falta a su equipo. So you identify training solution y cuando ya las identifica, you implement the training. Lo implementa. Cuando ya lo implementa, then you evaluate. Ya evalúa. Y luego de evaluar, lo último, um, through the evaluation, right, a través de la evaluación, you will know si va a saber si su equipo aprendió o no aprendió. So, ahí es donde usted va a decidir, you decide skills and knowledge gaps. Decide las habilidades que ya adquirieron y las que aún le hacen falta. Esos vacíos que quedaron. ¿Sí? That should be the correct way for us to implement training. Of course, probably there are many other ways, right? Unas personas hacen diferente eh, organización distinta. And it's okay. As long as um, it is useful, right? But that should be the correct uh, way, okay? That, that's the order that we have, yeah? Perfect. So now let's move. Okay, don't forget about those type of, um, those type of steps that you should follow because maybe uh, here we have some supervisors, right? So you should be able to identify these type of things. So then let's move, okay? We are going to talk about first conditional, okay? So first conditional in this case, guys, if you remember, we covered zero conditional yesterday. So today we are going to cover first conditional. So what is first conditional? When do we use first conditional, okay? That's something that we need to talk about. But first, okay, let's match the sentence halves. Mira como se dice mitades. Halves, mitad half, mitades halves, okay? So now, number, uh, well, letter A, if the shirt isn't dry enough, what will you wear, okay? So what about number two, which is the other half? If you pay attention, Mm-hmm. Which is the other half? If you pay attention. No? So, let us see. What will he do? No? If you don't ask, which is the other half? If you don't ask, mm -hmm. the answer will always be no. 
Excellent. If you don't ask, the answer will always be no. If you bring the drinks, I'll make the food. She'll be here in 10 minutes. If there is no traffic. If there is no traffic. If you go to a bingo night. No. H. We can go on holiday. If he doesn't get the job. Okay. We can go on holiday. Not exactly. If my dad gets a bonus at work. Hmm. Now, if you pay attention, okay, if you pay attention, you will know what's going on. Okay. What will he do if he doesn't get the job? What will he do? Letter G, if you go to a bingo night, you can make new friends. All of those sentences are in the first conditional. All of them. And, um, well, Morris, you actually asked yesterday about that, okay? And today we are going to cover the first conditional, okay? When we use will, okay? So now let me ask you, what do you do if you get a headache? What will you do or what do you do in this case? Because those sentences and questions, guys, those questions, the ones that you can see right here, are in the zero condition. All of them. Okay? All of them are in the zero condition. So what do you do if you get a headache? What do you do? Mm -hmm. What do you do? If I get a headache, I take a pill. Okay, excellent. If I get a headache, I take a pill. A pill. Perfect. Um, what do you do if you get toothache? Toothache. Toothache. Mm -hmm. What do you do if you get a, a, a toothache? If I get to say I go to the dentist, I will go to the dentist. No, I go to the dentist. Okay, it's okay. The zero condition. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, guys, yes, thank you, uh, Kenya. Um, to fake, to fake, to fake. Okay, to fake. ¿Cómo se dice dolor de oídos, guys? Dolor de oído? Eric. Eric. Very good. Um, how do you say dolor de garganta? No? Sore throat. Sore throat. Okay. Uh, okay. How do you say, guys, resfriado? Get a cold. Cold, a cold. Very good. Okay, so what do you do if you oversleep? What do you do if you oversleep? Mm -hmm. What do you do? And what is oversleep? Probably, um, yes, what is oversleep? 
dormida. Yes, it's oversleep is like uh, dormir the mass, right? Yes. What do you do if you oversleep? Hmm? Nothing, teacher. I feel relaxed. Yes, that is true. Number four, what do you do if something you buy breaks after a few days? What do you do? Well, it depends, right? Because if it has guarantee, so I can go to the store. I go to the store to get a replacement. Okay, replacement. But if not, I buy a new one. Okay. Now, Morris, who does the dishes in your house? Mm -hmm. Who does the dishes? Who does the dishes in your house? Mm -hmm. Do the dishes, guys, um, lavar los platos? Okay. Well, probably. Mm, all your family, right? Emerson, where does a nurse work? Hello, Miss. Yes. Where does a nurse work? Number two. Where does a nurse yeah, work? He works in a hospital on the... Yes, in a hospital. In the hospital, and what are her main responsibilities? Be careful the patients. Okay, to take care of the patients. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Let me see. A plan. Apply the medicaments. The treatments, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So now, um, okay. So Nelly, can you please let us know what do you do at eight a.m. on Mondays? I start to work. Okay. Tatiana, are you there? I think that no, she's not there. Okay, so let me see. Um, okay, Vladimir, what do you do on Sunday afternoons? Tell me two activities that you do on Sunday afternoons. The last Sunday I slept. You slept? All afternoon. Okay, all right. And what do you usually do? Uh, I work because work. I have own business. Uh, I still install. I install. I install. I install air conditioner. Okay, so you work basically. Yes. Okay. All right. Perfect. Thank you. All right. So then let's move, guys. Okay, let's move. Okay. 
Now you are going to go to different breakout rooms and you are going to practice, okay? So listen to those questions because those are really critical thinking, okay? You need to think. So how important are morals in a healthy society? Teacher, and what are morals? Los valores morales, okay? So how important are morals in a healthy society? Okay, what are the most important morals for citizens, ciudadanos, citizens to have? What do you think? ¿Cuáles son los más importantes en su opinión? Okay, are emotions necessary for human survival? Why or why not? Yes or no? Okay, do you think that are really important or do you think that emotions are not important, right? What is the most beneficial emotion? How about the most destructive? And why do you think that? Okay, and the last one, are you more worried about doing things right? or doing the right things and why. Okay, so we are going to practice with those four. Practice, please, and share your opinion. I'm going to ask you, and I really need a good answer, okay? Think a little bit and try to give me a good answer for those questions, all right? So if you cannot participate in the speaking time, stay here in the main session, okay? Um, okay. Hello, good evening. Hi, Emerson. You couldn't move, no se pudo mover. No. Okay, give me one second. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think that I haven't give you the access to share your screen. Okay. No. Podemos mencionar una moral. Dimension, moral mission. What are moral? Uh, I think uh, they are very important for a healthy society. And for me, the city.
Hi, Kenya. Hello. Hi, teacher. Are you at home or are you at work? I, I am at home, but I was in the room four. Oh, yes, yes. Now, now you are with me, okay? Because I would like to practice with you, okay? Ah, okay, teacher. Yeah. Okay, Kenya, can you please tell me how important are models in a healthy society? What do you for think? Me, for me, it's very important because you can have um, e integrada. Um, and sometimes people need to work together and if you don't have a healthy sorcery you and you don't practice the moral you mm -hmm. don't have to be um, um with a positive mind okay okay repeat after me and say society 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 society, society. And what are the most important morals for citizens to have? What do you think? Uh, for me, the um, important moral could be empathic because if I think um, about others, I can be in her, with her viewpoint and I can point of, view. Mm -hmm. point of view and I can understand her, her situation, their situation. There, and other, other morals can be patient because um, mm -hmm. some, uh, sometimes people are very um, uh, corta. I don't oh, remember. Hot temper. Hot temper. And they can fight or have discussion. Sorry, teacher. Don't worry. We can fight and have discussion when we don't have passion and listen other people and don't accept their opinions. Mm -hmm. And humil responsibility and punctual because we don't punctuality because we don't have to to play with the time of others. That is correct, okay? So repeat after me and say empathy. Empathy. Very good, okay? Yes, I agree with you. I think that those models are really important for a healthy society, right? So now, Lydia, are emotions necessary for human survival? Do you think that emotions are necessary? Yes, it's necessary because we have to express that we are feeling in different moments. For example, if I am happy, I can um, uh, live this moment. And if I am sad, I can cry because sometimes we can have um, enfermedad, ill. illness, illnesses illness for um, don't express the feelings. Oh, do you think so? Yes, teacher. Yes. If we we can it's necessary to express all kinds of emotions mm -hmm. is when we are sad, when we are happy, but when we are angry, we have to to think uh, before to before act. acting. Acting. Okay. Yes, I think that that um, you have a good point on your opinion, Kenya, because emotions are really necessary. You are right. And as you said before, we need to express emotions because if not, yes, you can get sick. You can get an illness. Probably not right now, but in the future, right? You are going to get illnesses. Mm -hmm. Okay, I agree. Now, number three. What is the most beneficial emotion for you? Uh, maybe empathy. Empathy? Empathy. Empathy. Yes. Um, okay. That is the most beneficial. Okay. And yeah. what, what about the most destructive? Uh, then why? Because uh, if we are thinking about what have 
others and because because we can be happy because we always are thinking about negative things mm -hmm. and for me it's envy 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 sorry envy okay don't worry all right yes i think that you are correct i agree with you kenya i think that yes you have really good points on your opinion okay kenya i'm going to bring somebody else and i'm going to send you to room four again okay okay teacher. okay thank you okay Hi, George. Hello, Hello. Teacher. Hello, George. Okay, George, I would like to practice with you. So I would like to ask you, okay, how important are morals in a healthy society? Because it's a better person. Okay. And what are the most important morals for citizens to have, in your opinion? For the respect for the other people. Okay, the respect to other people. Okay, so uh, you 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 say that respect is the most important. Yeah. Okay. So, and do you think that emotions are necessary for human survival? Yes, because the emotion uh, it help for the most for the other people. Your emotion, for for example, mm -hmm. if you um. If you have love for the other person, uh, permit uh, the better relationships. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And what do you think is the most beneficial emotion? Mm, I think it's two, the love and the respect for the other people. Love because, and respect. Yes, because if you respect and love the other people, uh, you try to um make the uh always you you make a, a good things for the other person. Okay. Yes. And the and the destructive uh, is the uh, is the hate. Hate. Okay. Yes, because uh, is uh, if you if you have hate to the other person or the, or or things, um, I don't know. I think that uh, you are a bad you are a bad person. You are a bad person. Yes, I think that yes. Okay, so hatred. Okay, hatred. Odio hatred. Um. Yes, I think that the most destructive is that one. But you know, I think that also it could be the most destructive could be envy, right? Envy and hatred. Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, George, I'm going to send you to room four again and I'm going to bring somebody else. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. Okay, so hi, Bernardo. Uh, hello, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. Excellent. Okay, so Jose, I would like to ask you, okay, how important are morals in a healthy society? What do you think? I think uh, the morals are the most important for a healthy society. Mm -hmm. Why? And because morals makes the people act of the better way. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what are the most important morals for citizens to have? Mm, I think they could be respect, mm -hmm. honesty, mm -hmm. kindness, and sharing, cooperation. Okay. I think those are the most important. Okay. Got it. And do you think that emotions are necessary for human survival? Uh, yes. Why? Because 
with emotion we feel sympathy mm -hmm. and it's love and if we feel love we are um more empathy with the other ones mm -hmm. okay and what is the most beneficial emotion for you uh for me love because mm -hmm. when you love the other people you are more how could i say you feel better or you no um... no not is uh, because i feel better it is more because i can help others mm -hmm. with uh, expecting to receive something i can be uh, i i i can be more i can have empathy for other ones okay got it all right and how about the most destructive i think uh, it is hate because when you hate someone you don't feel anything for that person and you are capable of hurting other people yes you are right mm -hmm. okay very good all right thank you Bernardo. that's that was it okay i just wanted to practice with you i'm going to send you to room four again and i will bring somebody else okay great thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Hello, Maurice. Hello. Okay, Maurice, Hello. I, will, I would like to practice with you, okay? I would like to practice with you and I would like to ask you, how mm. important are morals in a healthy society for you? For me, uh, yeah. respect. Oh, uh, respect, okay. belief. Uh, yeah. Patience? Yes. Oh, it is a belief. Okay. Belief. Okay. 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 Yes. And do you think that emotions are necessary for human survival? Huh? It's necessary. Why? Because if uh, I have good relation with the people, mm -hmm. for me, uh, I don't have problem. Okay, so you will live better. Yeah. Okay. And number three, what is the most beneficial emotion for you? More beneficial is with the people. Oh, okay. Creo que se le cortó, Maurice. It's a good relation okay. with the person. With person, okay. And how about the most destructive? The most destructive emotion? The most destructive is... What do you say hypocrisy? Um, you can you can say it. Um, give me one second. Let me check. Okay. 
that one you think that is the most destructive, hypocrisy. Okay. Why? Why do you think is the most destructive? Because uh, it's, if the person uh -huh. um, eh, como, what do you say? Se entera de que no soy honesto con él. If the person, if the person finds out, uh, if the person find out, I'm not honest. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not honest. Uh, uh, I don't, I don't have good relation with the people. Okay, all right. Hipocresía. Hypo, um, hypocrisy, okay? okay? Yes, hypocrisy, okay? Hypocrisy. Yes, hypocrisy, like this. Mire, ahí se lo manden en el chat. Yeah, okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Hypocrisy. Okay. okay. Hypocrisy. Okay. okay. Yes, I think that that one could be the most destructive. Mm, okay. Yes, I agree with you. Yes, I agree with you. Okay. Concuerdo. Okay. So right now, um, let me move you to another room. Lo voy a mover a, a la sala cuatro nuevamente. Voy a practicar únicamente con dos personas que me faltan y luego volvemos a la sala. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Okay. Hi, Emerson. Hello. Hi, Miss. Hello. Okay. Emerson, I would like to practice with you and I would like to ask you, what is the most beneficial emotion for you? Well, I think uh, the beneficial emotion is love. Love. Because I love, I love the people behavior and have compassion for others. Okay. All right. And how about the most destructive? I think it's the hate. Hate. Because the hate in some people create a, a six infinite. Oh, illnesses. Illnesses, yes. Okay. Do you think so? Okay. Yes. All right. And do you think that Emotions are necessary for human survival? Yes, of course, because, for example, the fears and the, the humanity the, that I love to consider the risk in the life for create a uh, habit for survivor. Okay, because habit, habit. Have it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And all right. So, what are the most important models for you? For me, the most important model is uh, the respect. Respect. Why? Respect for order, respect for the the planet. Oh, because mm -hmm. if if we don't have a, a respect for our planet, for example, we can lose the resources, we can mm -hmm. lose to and forests and other other places important for the for the planet. Okay. All right. Respect. Okay. Perfect. All right. Thank you, Emerson. That was pretty much okay. So I'm going to Anytime. send you again, okay, to the room four, and I'm going to bring. 
somebody else and then we are going to go back to their room okay okay Ms. give me one Sorry. second okay thank you Hello, Nelly. Hello. How are you, Nelly? I'm fine. Thank okay. you. Perfect. I'm okay. I'm okay. So, Nelly, what is the most beneficial emotion for you? Um, I think that the most beneficial emotion um, is, is love and empathy. And uh, respect and compassion. <laughs> respect and compassion. Okay. Yes. Okay. And how about the most destructive? Destructive um, is uh, hate and envy and, and different, maybe. Okay. Very good. And can you tell me, do you think? Emotions are necessary for human survival? Uh, yes, because um, we are we are not uh, robots. Okay. <laughs> and, and we need emotion for uh, do to do different do? things mm -hmm. uh, to do different things and have a have um, different actions for uh, like uh, consequence. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and um, yeah. <laughs> to grow also, right? Because through emotions, we are able to grow. Mm -hmm. To and, grow. Huh? Crecer. Yeah, to grow. Uh -huh. Crecer. Yes. Okay. And what are the most important models for citizens to have? What do you think are the most important models? Um, honesty and respect. And respect. Okay. Why do you think honesty and respect are important? Uh, because uh, we have to respect every every people and every custom and culture and religion and honesty uh, in everything that we we do we do and and the way that we are with when another people okay and another Okay, so with other people, other people, okay? okay. And in lugar de decir every people, vamos a decir every person. Okay. Okay, very good. Yes, I agree with you. I think that that is thoroughly correct. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's go back to the main room because we are going to continue with grammar, okay? Let's go, yes. Okay, so we already practiced with most of you guys, okay, about those questions, the ones that we have right there. Uh, but I'm going to ask uh, some of you, the ones that actually didn't join the rooms. Let me see if, if I can see somebody that is. Um, okay, Vladimir, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, Vladimir, can you tell me what is the most beneficial emotion for you? What do you think? What is the emotion? The most beneficial emotion. Mm. Ay, eh. Most beneficial emotion. Uh, the relax. The relax. Um, go again. Say it again. Yes, I mean, the most beneficial emotion 
could be respect, happiness. Uh, okay, happiness. Happiness. And the most destructive? Uh, how do you say rencor? Uh, probably resentment. Uh, resentment. Yes, that is correct. I haven't thought about that, but yes, you are right. That could be one of the most destructive. Yes. Yes, it's it's true. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. Let's continue. Okay. We already practiced with most of you. So let's continue and let's start with the grammar part. Okay. So, well, we are going to talk about the first conditional. So with the first conditional, um, we are going to use two tenses. But first, when do we use it? When do we use the first conditional? The first conditional is used to talk about actions or events in the future, which are likely to happen or have a real possibility of happening. So it says that basically the first condition the first conditional lo utilizamos para eventos a futuros que probablemente, likely means probablemente, okay? que probablemente van a suceder. No estamos siendo certeros como con el condicional cero. If you remember the zero conditional, it says that it is something that is always true. Siempre es verdad lo que expresamos con El condicional cero, the one that we covered yesterday. Yes. But this one, it says that are likely to happen. Que son probablemente que sucedan. Okay. Pero no es algo certero. Now, we use uh, different structures, but first, here are some examples. Okay. And we are going to share some examples by talking about superstitions. Superstitions, okay? So, um, if your right hand itches, if your right hand itches, ¿qué es lo que uh, sucede? ¿Qué es el significado de itches? Picar. Correct. Okay, so dice que si su mano derecha le pica, que probablemente you, you will earn money. You will earn money. Así dice, ¿verdad? Cuando uno le pica la mano. Yes. Uh -huh. That is a superstition. Now, number two. If you find a four-leaf clover, what will happen? It will bring you good luck all year. Okay, it will bring you good luck all year. Mm -hmm. That is true. People say that, right? But I'm not sure because I haven't found any four-leaf clover. Okay, so now, number three. If a girl drinks, listen to this one. If a girl drinks salt water, then goes to sleep, what will happen? This is a superstition. You will see her future husband in her dreams? Yes. That's, that's the superstition. Mm, but that's a superstition, okay? So number four. If the first butterfly you see in the year is white, what will happen? You will be luck. You will be lucky. Lucky. Excellent. Now, number five. If you blow, so plat, if you blow all the candles on your birthday cake, in one blow, what will happen? Your wishes will come true. Correct. And that, that's a superstition, right? Number six, if you walk under a ladder, what will happen? You will have bad luck. People say that, that you will have bad luck. I'm not sure. 
Okay, what about number seven? When a cat sneezes three times indoors, it will rain in 24 hours. Yeah, people say that. That is a superstition. I'm not sure if it is true or not, but the thing is that it, they say that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And number eight, if you break a mirror, it will bring you seven years of bad luck. Yes, that is correct. Do you know, guys, the, the story of this? Uh, why people believe that if you break a mirror, you will uh, it will bring you seven years of bad luck. Do you know the story? No, really, miss. No? Well, I read someday, I, I don't remember exactly, okay? But I will share with you what I remember. I'm not really sure if uh, it was the romance, okay? But the thing is that um, I read an article and they said that Romans believed, right? They believed that if you break a mirror, um, your soul, right? Su alma, your soul uh, will be broken as well. And they believe that in seven years, your soul will renew. Que se iba a renovar en siete años, su alma. Cuando usted rompe un, un espejo, entonces su alma también eh, se rompe. Y los romanos creían que a los siete años el alma se renueva. Y por eso quedó es, the, it will bring you seven years of bad luck. Y por eso son siete años. Porque ellos creían que en siete años el alma se iba a renew. Ok. But I don't know. Ok. Those are just superstitions. So in this case, um, we use the first conditional, okay? The first conditional to talk about superstitions. Things that probably, right? Maybe will happen, okay? Which is the structure? As you saw before, guys, the structure is really simple. We have a sentence in simple present tense, simple present tense, and we also have will, okay? So we have two sentences. We have the first sentence that goes in simple present and the second one that goes in future will. And we have, if it is sunny, we will go to the park. Yeah, if it is sunny, we will go to the park. Because we can do another thing if we want, right? So that is not sure. Now, number two, which is negative. If it doesn't rain tomorrow, we will go to the beach. If it doesn't rain tomorrow, we will go to the beach. Okay. And we also have the question. Will you ask our teacher for help if you have a question? Will you ask? Le preguntarás, right? Le preguntarás al maestro, ok, si tienes alguna pregunta, si tienes alguna duda, buscarás ayuda, yes. So now, as you can see right here, eh, the same thing, guys, we use coma whenever we have the two sentences to separate the first sentence with the second one. That is a rule. And that rule is for all of the conditionals. Coma, coma in the middle. If you start the sentence with if. But if you do not start the sentence with if and you switch the sentence, right? Si le da vuelta y decimos, we will go to the park if it is sunny. No coma is needed. Yeah? So we can switch. Podemos darle vuelta también lo que hablábamos el día de ayer. Si usted puede, switch the sentence. Okay? So now... Uh, another thing that is really important to mention, guys, is that we can replace if with when. When it is sunny, we will go to the park. 
okay? Um, but on the first conditional, guys, no en toda. No podemos reemplazar if con when, porque a veces suena extraño. Si decimos, when it doesn't rain tomorrow, we will go to the beach. No tiene sentido. Entonces, no podemos utilizar when en todas las oraciones. Es por eso que eh, es bien, um, son bien pocos los casos donde usted puede utilizar when en lugar de if. La oración tiene que tener sentido. It should make sense. Okay. So, this is the structure. This is the structure for the first conditional. Yeah, now we have some examples. Um, Emerson, help us reading the first positive examples. Then George, the, the other ones, those. And Jose, the questions. If I study today, I'll go to the party tonight. Yes. If I have uh, enough money, I'll buy some new shoes. Okay. If I see her, I tell her. Excellent, thank you. She'll miss the bus if she doesn't leave soon. If you don't put off on repel on repellent, you'll get Biden. 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 Yes. Thank you. Well, what will you do if you can sleep at night? What will you eat if you are hungry at midnight tonight? Perfect. Thank you. Okay, guys. So those are examples. Okay. If I study today, I will go to the party tonight. So if si I study el día de ahora, iré a la fiesta esta noche. If I have enough money, I will buy some new shoes. Si yo tengo dinero, compraré nuevos zapatos. If I see her, I'll tell her. Si yo la veo, le diré. Yeah. So now, what will you do if you can't sleep at night? Mm -hmm. What will you do? If I can't sleep at night, I will watch some videos. What will you eat if you are hungry? At midnight, tonight, at midnight tonight. If um, if I am hungry at midnight tonight, I will eat some bread. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She will miss the bus if she doesn't leave soon. Mire, ella va a perder el autobús. Si no se va, ya, en este momento, rápido. Okay. All right. So, do you have any question? Tiene preguntas, tiene dudas. First conditional. Uh -huh. Questions, doubts. No. Okay, so now uh, let's continue. Okay, let's continue and let's try to match again. Okay, let's match the two halves. Okay, let's match them. So we have number one. If everyone talks at the same time, what will happen? If everyone talks at the same time, we won't hear each other. Excellent. We won't hear each other. When I get some time off, I will visit a tropical island. Okay, very good. Pronunciation, island. Island. Hmm? La S no suena. Island, okay? Yes. Now, what about number three? If we continue to work hard. Our sales will increase. 
Perfect. If we work as a team, we can become more successful. Excellent. We can become more successful. And if you go by taxi, you will get there quicker. Quicker. Excellent. If you work too much, you will get stressed out. You will get stressed out. Uh -huh. And if you buy now, I will, will get, get a discount. discount. Excellent. You will get a discount. And if you don't take any risks, you won't gain any rewards. Very good. Okay. You see? And this is the first conditional. Okay. This is the first conditional. Okay. So now let's continue. All right. And it is your turn. Okay. With your teamwork. Okay, teamwork, uh, you are going to make sentences about each picture, okay? And you are going to create sentences using the first conditional, okay? Condicional uno, no cero, uno, ¿sí? De la uno a la ocho, okay? Ya tiene la, la primera. If you eat too much, you are going to use your imagination, guys. You need to be creative, okay? So if you eat too much, you will get fat, yeah? Number two, according to this picture, you will make the sentence. According to this picture, you will make the sentence and so on, okay? So let's work um, with your team, okay? And then I will give you around uh, seven minutes, okay? And then we are going to come back, right? Let me recreate the rooms, yes. Oh, Nelly, okay. Oh, okay. Um, is Vladimir here? Yes. Okay. Let's see. Okay, if you have questions, ask, okay? Vladimir. You can see that? Mm, no. Yes. Okay. The number two. I so it's a slow. if you if you drive fast, you will have an accident. If you wrong a lot, oh, uh. 
um, if you are uh, no, if you if you yeah, if you want a lot, you will um get you, thirsty. Uh huh. Yes. If you want no. Okay. Okay. Um, it's a view in number four. It's a beer. Beer. If you if you drink beer, you will be happy. <laughs> <laughs> if you drink a lot of beer. You will get drunk. If you drink a little bit. If you drink a lot of beer, you will. You will? We'll get drunk. You will get drunk. If you work too much, if you work too much, you will get this stressful. Yes. Uh, no. Stress, stress, just mm -hmm. stressful. I think. Oh, yeah. you will. Oh, you will as stressfully, but you will get stressful. Yeah. Okay. And number six, he. He's um, cool, right? He, school. If you don't use sweater, no. Okay. If you um, not use or don't use, uh, don't wear. Three yeah, wear. No, don't don't wear, wear a sweater. Or oh, oh, sweater. Wear, wear. sweater. If you don't wear a sweater, you would get cool. Hold. 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 No. O L D. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. If 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 the cat. Mm. Oh, yeah. you, that? Uh, you will have bad luck bad luck if you have a black cat <laughs> okay you yeah. have you will have you, you will have you will have bad luck that luck if you have 
is a, in a, a black cat. Black cat. I have two black cats. Uh, okay. I love black cats. <laughs> um, my sister has a black cat and my nephew too. <laughs> Okay. Number eight. If you study. Eh, mire está con Okay, you finish? Yes. Yes, okay. Perfect. Um let me see. Okay. Um Let's go back to the main room, okay? Let's go back. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay, guys. So what we're going to do is that we're going to take the reading quiz, okay? That's the first quiz that we are going to take today. And for the reading quiz, let me just share. Okay. Um, you know, I think that, yes. Let's wait for the other ones because we're still missing the other ones. Okay. Yes. Okay, guys. So we are going to take the reading quiz. Okay. Uh, please open the link. If you don't have the, the spreadsheet, let me send it to you. And the passcode is reading. Okay. So for the reading quiz, you will need the reading material. You have the reading material right here next to the reading quiz. Okay. You have it right there. The quiz is really, um, I would say, interesting because you are going to learn about something uh, different, okay? 
So I will give you around seven minutes, okay, for you to read the whole uh, paragraph and then take the quiz, okay? Read the material and then take the quiz, okay? Teacher. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Yes. Do you pass attendance? No. No yet. No. Okay. No. Okay. No yet. Thank you.
Okay. So now uh, I'm going to say the attendance. Okay, I'm going to say the attendance. So please say present once you hear your name. Give me one second. Okay, so Carlos Alberto Castro Santana. Carlos Alberto. Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez Díaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia María Guerrero Mejía. Claudia María. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos. Daisy. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Ulises. Um, thank you. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Janet Granados. Karen. Carla Sofía Argueta. Carla Sofía. Okay, Kenya Elizabeth Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Marian Scarlett Rodriguez. Marian. Marina Jancy. Marina. Mauricio. Present. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velasquez. Yes, Mauricio. Um, Nelly Lilibeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelly. Present. Thank you. Norma Patricia. Yes, thank you. Pablo Adalberto. Yes, Pablo. Tatiana Ivón. Tatiana. Ahí está Tatiana. Okay. Eh, Wendy Maricela. And Jonathan Roberto Garcia. Present. Thank you. All right. Uh, let me see, guys, if you finished. Okay. Okay. So if you already finished, what we are going to do is that we are going to take. Uh, okay. Okay, so we are going to take the zero conditional grammar exam. Okay, the one related to the topic that we covered yesterday. Okay, thank you, Wendy. So there you go. That is the link. Let me see. And yes, and the passcode is grammar. This is about the topic that we covered yesterday. Okay, which is zero conditional, only zero conditional. Okay, just Zero conditional, guys. No otro condicional, el cero. Únicamente el cero.
Okay, guys. Mm, let's see. All right, so the last quiz that we are going to take is the listening, okay? So there you go. And passport listening. Okay. Let me know once you are ready so I can play it, okay? I'm going to play the recording three times, okay? Three times. Ready, miss. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so here we go. Hey, stop. What? And give me your money. What? No, no, listen here. No, you listen. Hand over your purse and I won't hurt you. <laughs> Gotta be joking. Do I look like I'm joking? <laughs> look, I only have two dollars in change. I don't care. Give it to me. And your phone and credit cards. <laughs> okay, listen. Obviously, you haven't thought this through. I mean... Who's going to rob someone as they walk out of a karate studio, really? Right. You don't fool me. Anyone can get a black belt online in ten minutes. And I have a knife. Listen, mister, I'm telling you to back off. I'm yeah. a fifth-degree black belt, and I've trained for 25 years. Ah. I don't want to hurt you, but I'll defend <laughs> myself if I have to. All right, baby. Let me have it. You better call 911 first. Right. <laughs> Listen, here's your two dollars. You'll need them to cover your medical bills. <sighs> okay, so here we go with the second time, okay? Hey, stop. What? And give me your money. What? No, no, listen here. No, you listen. Hand over your purse and I won't hurt you. <laughs> Gotta be joking. Do I look like I'm joking? <laughs> Look, I only have two dollars in change. I don't care. Give it to me. And your phone and credit cards. <laughs> okay, listen. Obviously, you haven't thought this through. I mean, who's going to rob someone as they walk out of a karate studio, really? Right. You don't fool me. Anyone can get a black belt online in ten minutes. And I have a knife. Listen, mister, I'm telling you to back off. I'm yeah. a fifth-degree black belt, and I've trained for 25 years. Ah. I don't want to hurt you, but I'll defend <laughs> myself if I have to. All right, baby. Let me have it. You better call 911 first. Right. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, listen. Here's your $2. You'll need them to cover your medical bills. Oh. Okay, guys, the last time. Hey, stop. What? And give me your money. What? No, no, listen here. No, you listen. Hand over your purse and I won't hurt you. <laughs> Gotta be joking. Do I look like I'm joking? <laughs> look, I only have two dollars in change. I don't care. Give it to me. And your phone and credit cards. <laughs> okay, listen. Obviously, you haven't thought this through. I mean, who's going to rob someone as they walk out of a karate studio, really? Right. You don't fool me. Anyone can get a black belt online in ten minutes. And I have a knife. Listen, mister, I'm telling you to back off. I'm yeah. a fifth-degree black belt, and I've trained for 25 years. Ah. I don't want to hurt you, but I'll defend <laughs> myself if I have to. All right, baby. Let me have it. You better call 911 first. Right. Oh, man. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, listen. Here's your $2. You'll need them to cover your medical bills. Oh. Okay. So, let's see. Um... All right, so Emerson, what will you do if you run out of money? 
ran out of money, okay? What is the meaning of that expression, run out of, means quedarse sin. So what will you do if you run out of money? Maybe. Require a, a limited? Um, I will ask for a loan. I will ask for a loan. Maybe uh, pedir un préstamo. Yes. No? Yes. So I will ask for a loan. Okay. A loan. Loan. A loan. Préstamo. Okay. And you, Nelly, what will you do if you run out of money? If... If I I run up money, I will I will get a diet. <laughs> okay, all um, right. Okay. Yes. Okay, and okay. So, what about you, uh, George? What would you do if you ran out of money? Teacher, you can't believe me. But I told my co my partners and the and the before exercise, I create OnlyFans and buy my body. Oh my god, okay. So that, I mean that, that uh, just, be, I just, okay. <laughs> no, I don't know. I uh, I think ask um I learned two. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. All right, and what about you, Jose? What will you do if you run out of money? Um, if I run out of money, I I will send something. You will sell something, huh? Yes, could be right. Okay, all right. And what will you do if if it rains? Actually, what will you do if it rains at the weekend, Nelly? Um, if it rains at the weekend, I will stay at home. I stay at home, okay. And what would you do if your purse or wallet is stolen, Nelly? Um, if my wallet is stolen, I will report uh, my credit cards. Perfect, okay. Um, what about you, Emerson? What will you do if your wallet is stolen? The first report my credit card and uh, finally require my documents. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, request again. your again, request your documents again. Okay, guys, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. Okay, thank you very much for connecting today. I'll see you back on Monday, and I hope you have a good night and a great weekend. Okay, try to enjoy yourself and take care. All right, perfect. Good thank night. you. Good night. Bye Goodbye. Bye. Good night. Goodbye. Good night. Hi, teacher. See Bye. you on Monday. See you on Monday.